Tally my freaky little darlings, Che Mondo here and welcome back to Telltale's Jurassic Park Where we left off, my favourite guy died I don't know why he needed to die, but he died epically, fighting raptors uh, We've ended up in our room, and there's a dead body under a load of leaves So without any further ado, let's find out what the hell is going on This guy's dressed a lot like you, Billy does he have a tattoo on his arm? Like mine? Ooh. Yes, yes he does. Oh, so Billy knows him. <laughs> I'll just looking here. Laura. Eggs. It is a nest. I thought the structure looked like the nest of a cassowary. Maybe an emu. But without eggs, I couldn't be sure. Yes, but... but they're inside him. If you'd asked me five minutes ago, I'd have told you such behavior didn't exist outside of class and secta, but Whoa. now... He's a human being! I I'm sorry, you're absolutely... Just turned into aliens. Oh, those eyes again! Oh my god, he's alive! This pulse is weak, but it's there. Look for bite marks. Bite marks? Yes, yes, they look just like... Just like the ones Nima had, I know. He's alive, but only technically. He's paralyzed and almost certainly brain dead. This is the Venom's final stage. What the hell's going on over there? Is he alive or not? <laughs> He's alive, but in a comatose state. Something is laid in eggs in his abdomen. Something what? This is aliens! The victim was being kept alive by Decaf! A... I'm sorry? The victim is Daniel Kafaro. Another throwaway grunt. Oh my god. I knew they'd gotten out somehow, but I never thought you knew about this. You... Oh! I'll kill you! Oh, please tell me that's not the end of this episode. Right, well, that's the end of that episode, but I'm not going to end there. We're jumping straight into the next one, uh, once it's done with its all loading and saving. Come on! Well, that was a uh, decaf. Wasn't that the pilot? Oh, next episode, The Survivors. It wasn't decaf, the pilot of the uh, helicopter that just disappeared. Oh. Tell us, Doctor, what's out there? What did this to him? Tro... they're called Trodon Pectinodon. They were meant to be euthanized, but... What? You let them out? No, no. I <laughs> kept them in quarantine for study. They... I thought they may have been leaving the pen somehow, but I wasn't certain. We were about those damn creatures all along. While <laughs> we were out there, exposed, humping around like idiots looking for our pilot. Billy, wait. We were nearly killed by one of our own men. Probably bitten by one of those things, just like decaf. Who knows where his catatonic body is now? Both our teams are dead. Oscar's dead! All because of your dinosaurs, all because of you! Oscar doesn't want this. He died helping us all survive. He wouldn't want her dead. Had he known, though! Anyway, this witch is a liar. She's lied to all of us. Put me in the direct line of danger to protect her agenda and her precious freak show. What else is she hiding? Please? Hmm? If I knew sooner, oh, I... shut it. <laughs> is that what this is all about? She put you in danger? You're acting out of vendetta here? Oh, don't turn this around on me. I'm doing this for Decaf and Vargas. But what is all this? She's a liar. How can you deny that? Yes, she lied to all of us, but she also helped when she could. Nima is alive because of her. She could have warned us. I wasn't entirely sure yet. For all I knew, she could have gotten into the quarantine pens. Oh, so what? I'm the enemy? I'm the bad guy here? I'm just trying to open your eyes! I'm trying to show you the truth and bring someone to account Ooh. for it! That's just it, Billy. She's not the one responsible. This falls on the shoulders of Hammond and Ingen, and now we're all suffering for it. He's got a point. Still, Billy, let her go. 
We need every able mind and body we can get. All she has to say is it's my fault. It's my fault. Come on, Doc. Let me hear it. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Say it! <laughs> I like Billy. It's... it's m my fault. There. Wasn't so difficult, was it? <laughs> saved you here. At least I got the truth out of you. You want her alive? You got it. She'll die. That's my theory. Just mark my words. She will save just one of those animals before she lifts a finger to help you. Now, everyone make themselves useful. I gotta tend to decaf. <laughs> Aw, poor decaf. Look, we can't stay here long. Let's just give Billy a minute and see if we can find anything useful. A way out, even. Okay. We'll do a sweep of the room and check in when we're done. Agreed? Try the vent. <laughs> I don't see anything. Maybe it's clear. Leave the door alone. We're not <laughs> going back out that way. Why not? Because we aren't backtracking, and those damn creatures could still be out there. Hmm. He's got a point. What we got here? Trapped like a trapped on here like a rat. <laughs> We're just, just standing in the background. We'll go to the dad. See what he's got. Locked. Ooh. A flare kit. This might come in handy. <clears throat> I don't want to get stuck in a vent with a dinosaur. Besides, there's blood everywhere. Ow! Hot! <laughs> Alright. To Jessica, then. Are you okay? Jess, hon, leave him alone. <laughs> Just a general question. Great. It's locked. Does anyone happen to have a key? Let's have a look through here, shall we? What about this grate? It looks big enough for everyone. And it looks like it's heading in the right direction. We just need a key. My buttons weren't working. I thought the dinosaurs couldn't breed. They can't. They're all female. Then how do they lay eggs? Theropods shed eggs just like most other ova um, egg-laying animals. Think about chickens. The whole egg market is made up of unfertilized eggs, right? Oh, yeah. So they still have to lay them? Oh, my. What is it? You bring up a good point about our dinosaurs ovulating. But these eggs are gathered in a clutch. This is brooding behavior. So, chickens will brood a large enough clutch? Mm. But not our dinosaurs. I've found post-ovulatory eggs in the ranges. They're mal-shaped, usually destroyed or kicked into the bush. I see. Wait, it, we can't jump to any conclusions. How could this even be possible? Could a girl dino turn into a boy dino? <laughs> With Dr. Wu's slapdash approach to gene sequencing, anything could go wrong. Ooh, I think they're starting to figure it out. So tell me, are you excited for the new film? I am. I sure am. I am overly excited for it. I'm a huge Jurassic Park fan. As you can see by my, me playing these lovely games. Let's try lockers. Can I pick this lock? Yeah, so I'm getting really, really excited I for it. I would know how. I don't want to add breaking and entry onto my dad's list of my criminal tendencies. <laughs> This tunnel looks tall enough for everyone. Maybe we should go this way. Jess, stand back from the grate. You don't know what's down there. I'm just trying to help. I know, Jess. I just can't keep my attention on everything at hand, plus you. <laughs> Sorry to be such a burden. Ooh. Uh, have you got anything else around here? No. 
Go back to her. Have you got anything over here? What's that? I got a spade. Huele <laughs> excremento. What is that? I think they're empty. They're still heavy, though. Uh, yeah. Um. Jerry, we should get moving. Yeah. Are you ready? This is not the time for grieving. We have to move. Maybe we should. She's right. Poor Billy. Losing all his mates. Take it, Billy! <laughs> you never know when that's going to come in handy. Billy, did you find something? No, nothing. Is everyone ready? What about decaf? I took care of that. It looked like you took something off him. And if he has something that will help us... I didn't find anything. I took his dog tags. Insurance doesn't pay out to his family unless his dog tags are returned. Satisfied? Right. Sorry for pushing. Should we bring him with us? Why bother? He's already buried. Aw, oh, poor Billy. Look, I know where his body is. We're not equipped to transport it. Hopefully, we can retrieve his remains when this is all over. He's got a point there. All right, listen up. Everything that just happened, bygones. Understand? <laughs> I held a knife to your throat. Tell me again Doesn't matter. Phones. Um, according to the terminal in my lab, the marine exhibit phones are still connected to the transceiver. The visitor center phones Too are... Too far away, okay? And we can get to the exhibit through the tunnels? They're all interconnected. I think I can still find... The answer is yes. Thank you. All right, we all have the same priorities here now. We get to this marine exhibit and find the phone. We get another chopper in the air to lift us out from there. How are we going to get there? Trotter <laughs> could still be out there. We aren't equipped to treat any more bites. We have to shh. I will not be shushed. The door. Oh no. Yeah. Oh. They're coming through the vent. Okay, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Ah! It got him! <laughs> what is that thing? They are dead! <laughs> yeah, I can see this going as well as all the others. There we go. That's not gonna stop them. Ooh! Off. <laughs> Have they figured out how to use doors as well? They're going past the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I figured out how to get out of this. Oh, come on, boy. Yeah. Come on! Hurry! <laughs> I'm a little busy here. What about him? Oh, throw me one! No! Oh. Alley up! <laughs> okay, come on, come on, come on, come on! 
<laughs> Af, er det <laughs> It's like me catching in real life, by the way. Yeah, I caught it this time. <laughs> and you just do this, you know? Look, locks off. Come on. Come on, Billy. Oh, that'll slow him down. This thing really doesn't like the shovel. He's creepy as hell. Oh, they're being chased. Uh. Oh no. Which way, Laura? I don't know where we are anymore. We we need to head towards the north. That way. Whoops. <laughs> where are we? We must have taken a wrong turn. <laughs> Aww. I try not to pick the wrong turn this time. <laughs> um Lucky pick Go that way I picked right we got a hard hat. Which way, Laura? I don't know, Jerry. We must be 40 feet underground. I have no idea where we are. Well, we can't just sit around with our thumbs up our butts. <laughs> I don't hear them anymore. Their behavior seemed territorial. Maybe we're far enough away from the nest that they gave up on us. We might have outpaced them. We're not exactly in a secure location. Which way are we heading, Doc? Um, look over here. Can you read these? Maybe. If I can find... Yes. Yes. Okay. We're at a four-way intersection. There are only four such intersections on the plan. Let me just cross-reference these detail labels. Okay. <laughs> I want a coffee cup. have to figure out which intersection we're at. Look around the corridors for any distinguishing features. I'll see if I can eliminate possibilities. <laughs> Maybe I can help with the plans. They look pretty simple. Right. No, 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 wait. Back, back! Back, I say! No. I just don't have enough details to make a decision. Right. We will pick Billy, because I like Billy. Is 
set of water tanks part way down the corridor on the right. This tunnel only goes down a few dozen yards to a dead end. I see one ladder at the end of the hallway. There's a big yellow pipe that goes down a bit on the left and then crosses over to the other side. The tunnel goes straight and then turns to the right. There are these two big electrical boxes of some kind <laughs> on the right. I have no idea what's going on. There's a ladder. I see two ladders along the left of the tunnel. Right, so we will go back to her. Oh god. Right, um... These symbols are access ladders. These thick lines represent large pipes. The circles are water tanks. And these boxes with the crosses in them are power relays or transformers. Right. Does that help any? Not on its own. But I can tell that the different intersections seem to have some small inconsistencies in light. By the looks of it, with the bottom right one here. Because if his cross is over... Oh. Right, um... I don't think it's this one. How can you keep them all straight? Right, go to you. What have you got down here? There's a ladder on the right, and on the far wall at the end. There's a big yellow pipe going down the left wall. It crosses over the ceiling part way down the corridor. I see some sort of water tanks at the end of the hall. Oh! It looks like the corridor ends in a T intersection. Alright, now we've got all the information. Let's have a look. Alright, ends in a T has water tanks. Yep, yeah, so you've got this one here and this one here. Alright, crosses over. Water tank, water tank. Think of this one. I'll circle this one as a candidate. Okay, Laura. I hope you're right. Um... It's not that one. What do you think, Jess? Probably not this one? Yeah, I don't think so. Right. We need to see Billy, see if he's got water... Oh, hang on, he's got, both got water tanks. He's both got wires... We could be here. I guess they all kind of look the same. Right, it's between these two. Right. Ah, what are these again? Um. Yeah, we'll go with that. Circle this one as a candidate. Okay, Laura. I hope you're right. I'll right, we'll go back to Billy. I see one ladder at the end of the hallway. He's got a ladder at the end of the hallway. Oh, hang on. What's this? There's a big yellow pipe that goes down the left wall and into the floor. Right, so his long one doesn't ha he only has a ladder at the end. He would have spotted them. So it's this one. We could be here. I guess they all kind of look the same. Why won't you select it? Am I not finding something? Look down the corridors. I need to know what you see. Describe it in as much detail as you can. That's what they've been doing. Right. Uh, we'll go back to you, see if I've missed anything. I see two ladders along the left of the tunnel. There's a big yellow pipe that goes down a bit on the left and then crosses over to the other side. <coughs> Have I missed anything over here? It looks like the corridor ends in a T intersection. That should be enough information, come on. I'm just going to cross this one off. Okay, I hope you're right. Okay, everyone, I think I've got it. <coughs> Apologize. Yes. I'm positive. Oh, wow! It must be here. It's the only one that completely matches our surroundings. Okay, <laughs> here we are. Whew. The desalination plant is here. 
We're not that far. No, we follow this route here. We follow any water mains at junctions in the direction of convergence. Even still, there's barely any turns. Look, just memorize this route. Run, Billy. That's a lot of them! No! Ah, separate them all! You knocked over the coffee! Oops, they're dead! Oopsie! I died. They're afraid of the flare! <laughs> I can see them. Get behind me! I died again! What is going on with this? <laughs> okay, okay, we know I'm dead. <laughs> I can see them. Get behind me! Nope. Now we're going. Come on, come on, come on. Back off! Oh, we've got the one left. Bugger off! That didn't slow him down. Jess! Run! Oh, I thought he was going to get bit there. That one kind of just left him. Oh, oh God. Yes. Jess! Oh, what have I done? I just left her down there. I have to go find her. Back down there? With those monsters? No, Jerry. She needs you safe. Jess is a strong and resourceful girl. Yes. She's doing like we are doing. Surviving. You can't know that. I won't leave her to those animals. Jerry, look at me. If we go back down there, we won't make it to the bottom of that ladder. The others escaped down the tunnel we were going to follow. We know where they're going. The marine exhibit. That's where Laura would take her. And Yoder is with them. Oh, God. If we're going to join them again, that is where we have to go. The quickest way we can. You're right. We should be able to make better time over land. Can you get us there? No. <laughs> Uh, it must be to the north, near the outlet of the river. Big river? With many falls? Yeah, the big river. Okay, good. <laughs> the big river! Something. Let me get my bearings, and we'll figure out how to get there. Por el amor de Dios. Do you know where we are? Let me think. <laughs> it's been so long. Let me think! It's my first time back on the island in nearly 12 years. The engine has changed it so much. Right, I do believe that'll be the end of this episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. I've been Che Mondo. This has been Jurassic Park. Like, comment, share with your friends, share with your family. And remember, be good. And if you can't be good, don't get caught. Bye.